My name is Sawyer Stanley. I am a magician, and my parents are so proud. I heard somebody saying they saw me. Who was that? You? And you? You guys can see me? We'll invest in some thicker curtains next year. Does that sound good? Everybody doing okay tonight? Are we just showing up for the evening? Some people maybe? Yeah? Okay. Today, I'd like to have a little bit of fun, go back in time a little bit uh, to when most of us were kids. Uh, who, who had a cafeteria in their school? Yeah, a good number of people. Who had to bring money to the cafeteria to buy food? A few people. Awesome. Okay. If you are a parent, who has ever sent a child to school with money, you know that is a nerve-wracking experience, especially for my parents. The kid in the unicorn t-shirt is kind of a target. So today, I'd like to show you the solution that my parents came up with. We have some fantastic background noise here today. Uh, but I need somebody to help me out with this. You there with the glasses. Yeah, what's your name? Brady? Brady? Brady, can you help me out with this first trick? Yeah? Round of applause for Brady as he makes his way up. Just watch your step here, Brady. My name is Sawyer. That's OK. Make yourself comfy, Brady. Look at the audience. Smile. Brady, everybody. Brady, are you in school? What grade? Grade four, do you have a cafeteria? No, okay. That's okay, Brady, because you actually get special permission today. You get access to my wallet. If you'll reach inside, take out only one bill. They do tend to stick together sometimes. Make sure you have one, do you have one? Hold that up over your head and show everybody the bill. That is what I call a Sawyer Stanley Magic $20 bill. Brady, if you feel that, does it feel real? Does that feel real? Yes? No? You don't know? Okay, how, hold it up to the light. If you hold it up to the light and look through it. Here, I'll hold it up. Here we go. Look through the bill. Does that look real? Does it look real up there? No. Yes! Brady, it even smells real. Yes? You are so talkative. Calm down. Okay, Brady, I'm going to show you today how I cash in on a Sawyer Stanley Magic $20 bill. The reason I carry them this way is so that nobody could take my money from me. Here we go, Brady. And that there is a $20 bill. Take a look at that, Brady. Hold that up over your head. Show everybody the 20. <laughs> Brady, does that feel like real money? If you hold it up to the light, does it look like real money? If you smell it, does it smell like real money? You guess. OK, awesome, Brady. I'll grab that back from you. Here's the thing. After you buy something at the cafeteria, you typically get change back. This cannot go back into my wallet the way that it is. Otherwise, somebody could take my $20. So Brady, we're going to do it again, but backwards. Here we go. Me too. And there is the Sawyer Stanley Magic $20 bill, Brady. That is a gift from me to you. Don't spend it all in one place. Okay? Round of applause for Brady for helping out. Brady, just watch your step there on your way back down. Fantastic. Let's set this over here. Now, there was one downside to my cafeteria. They did not have my favorite food. Have we played charades before? Okay, what about Pictionary? Okay. We're going to play kind of a version of Pictionary. I'm going to start drawing. The second you know what it is that I'm drawing, shout it out. It's very simple. OK. 
Here we go. Also, something super cool. This is the third time this sketchpad has ever been used. Thank you for being part of something special with me today. Here we go. Any guesses? What's that? A monkey tail. I'll tell you, I got monkey for the first time today, and that's the second time, so that's awesome. Just yell it out. A nine. I like the number. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Here we go. Any, any ideas? No, okay, okay. Maybe this will help. Or just make it worse. Any ideas? Okay, okay. This, this should probably fix it for some. Here we go. What's that? A lunch bag? Yes, okay. One final touch, and it's going to make sense to everybody. Here we go. McDonald's! Yes! My cafeteria did not have McDonald's, so I actually had to bring my own. So some McDonald's on three, two, one, McDonald's. Uh, who here has been to the States? Yes, a few of us have we been to McDonald's in the States. Okay, they do something different there that we don't get to do here called supersizing a meal. So this is my tribute to our friends down south. We have to request a different tent next year, I think. Something a little taller. A supersized straw for our American friends. Let's see if I can find the hole here. Yeah! And the magician reappears. And that was a small tribute to our American friends. Thank you. Okay, after eating lunch at school, what do we do? What's that? Go outside. Recess. Yes, perfect. One of the best things about recess, of course, are the games. So, I will try and act out a couple fun games. The second you know what the game is, Yell it out. Here we go. Here's the first one. Yes, thank you. I really didn't want to have to jump. Okay, here's another one. Here's another one. Swinging. Yes, yes. I heard somebody over here say that too. Great job. Yes, fantastic. Okay, this last one. Uh, it's kind of hard to do with one person. I'll give it my best shot. Just uh, bear with me. Here we go. Tug of war, yes, who said that? Was that you back there? Awesome job. What's your name? Lily. Lily, are you strong? Yes, show me the guns. Bam! Lily, can you help me out? Come on up, round of applause for Lily. Just watch your step here. I'm Sawyer. Hey, that's, a, that's a handshake. <laughs> Come on over, Lily. All right, face the audience, smile. Lily, everybody. Lily, we are going to play some tug of war. I'd like you to hold on to that. Don't go too crazy. It is dangerous. Just give this a good tug first. Keep pulling, yep. Is that a good strong rope? Perfect, you can let go, let it fall. 
Awesome. I'm going to show you all today how I used to cheat at tug of war and also get away with playing it. See, at my elementary school, playing tug of war was actually against the rules because of how dangerous it is, Lily. We're going to be safe here today, but I'm going to show you guys how I cheated. It's right here in my pocket. This here is a solid metal ring. I'm going to hand that to you. Try and pull that apart. Does it separate at all? Try and twist it. Does it twist at all? It's good and strong? Perfect. This small metal ring works like a handle. If you're ever playing tug of war, invest in one of these. Here we go. I'll put it on like this. Tug and not catch the ring. Good catch. Hold on to the ring. Give it a good tug. Is that on there good and tight? Release the ring. Grab those ends. I like to use the handle. Give it a, give it a tug. On there good and tight. What's really interesting is so long as Lily's holding on to those ends, the ring will not come off of this end. In a moment, we are going to play tug of war, okay? But we're also going to pretend that one of my teachers is about to come around the corner and catch us playing, and we're not supposed to do that, okay? All right, come over a little bit. We'll get center stage, perfect. Get into a ready stance. That's your ready stance? A ready stance? Yes, okay. Okay, on the count of three, we're gonna play. One, two, three. Oh, the teacher's coming, the teacher's coming. Oh, don't let go. And there's the ring. Oh, she's done. She, blame it on him. Blame it. Lily, everybody. Great job. Just watch your step on the way down. I love how quickly she was like. Okay. Who here has used a Rubik's Cube before? Great. I love seeing all these hands. Who here has solved a Rubik's Cube before? Really? Really? Oh, awesome. I love that. That's great. See, about almost five years ago, I started to learn how to solve the Rubik's Cube. And at that same time, there was this rumor going around, maybe some of you have heard this before, that any Rubik's Cube, no matter how it's mixed up, can be solved in 20 moves or less. Has anybody heard that before? No? Okay, it, it is a real thing, I promise you. When I first heard that, I thought it was pretty cool, and I wanted to try it in the past five years, I've gotten pretty good at it. So that was 20 moves-ish. I wasn't really counting, but if this is 20, that there might be 10. And if that's 10, that there might be five, and then five down to one. And anybody here could do that last move. That is a fully solved Rubik's Cube. Now this was about five years ago. Thanks. So this was about five years ago. In a modern day and age where instant gratification is ever more prominent, I thought we would do it faster. Instead of from 20 to 10 to 5 to 1, we'll go straight from 20 down to the last one. Here we go. And that there is a fully solved Rubik's Cube. What's your name? Betty. Have you used one of these before, Betty? You tried. Would you like to learn how to solve one instantly? Yeah? A round of applause as Betty joins me on stage. Come on up, Betty. Come right on up. I'm Sawyer. Pleasure. Come right on over. Now, Betty, I'm actually going to get you to stand towards the back of the stage here for now, okay? The thing is, there is a secret move involved with solving the Rubik's Cube in an instant. And Betty, I'm going to teach that move to you, okay? The reason I have you at the back of the stage is because I'm going to teach you behind my back. This way, nobody else knows the secret move. Make sense? Okay, Betty, watch close. This is the secret move. And that is all you have to do. That's the only kind of turning. Do you get it? Do you think you can do that? Okay, come up beside me. I'm counting on you, Betty. <laughs> Okay, Betty, because it is a secret move, you're actually going to do this behind your back. So if you put your hands back there and take the cube, you got it? Okay, hold on tight. 
When you are ready, execute the secret move, and then let me know when it is done. You, exactly what I showed you, that's all you have to do. Let me know when it's done. You don't know. Does it feel good to you? Just, just feel it out. You'll know. Does it feel good? I'll say yes. You'll say yes? Okay, <laughs> Betty. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm going to give you a quick intro here. We're going to count down from three, and then I'd like you to hold that out like the miracle that it is. Okay? okay? Ladies and gentlemen, the latest addition to the act, Betty, on three, two, one. A fully solved Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Awesome job, Betty. <laughs> High five. Yes, Betty, everybody, just watch your step on the way down. <laughs> okay. There is something very special about today that I'd like to add at the very end of the show. Please, if I don't mention it, remind me. I forgot earlier, and it's very important. Okay? But first, you may have noticed that uh, Magic Rick has his banner up over here, and the Modern Mind Readers have a banner up over here. There's a big media wall there with the Modern Mind Readers all over it, and nothing for Sawyer Stanley. Nobody told me I needed media. So, I went into the big building over there, talked to a good friend of mine named Elisa, who runs Totally Caricature, and she made me a banner. If any of you are interested in having one of these done of you, it takes like three, four minutes. She's super fast. And it's a great Christmas gift. It looks amazing. She's super nice. Just step inside. She's right there inside the door. And I have a banner just like that. Okay, something special for today. Let me take a look out here just quickly. I'm looking for a very specific kind of individual. You, ma'am. No, yeah, you. No, I'm, it's this. It, I, I'm being very particular here. Not just anybody can do this. What's your name? No, yeah, in, with the red and the black. Your name is No? Okay. What about you on the end here? What's your name? Linda. Linda. Do you have a cell phone on you? You do. Are you from New Brunswick? No. Where are you from? Alberta. Alberta. Okay. We're going to give it a shot. Linda, can you help me out? A round of applause for Linda. Now, Linda, I selected you specifically on the very first try. <laughs> because I wanted to get to know you just a little bit better. Okay. When you speak, you talk into the microphone. That way everybody in the back can hear you. Just introduce yourself. Okay. I'm Linda Hustler. Can you hear her in the back? Yes? Perfect. Okay, Linda, we're going to get to know each other. Okay. So I'm going to ask you first some questions about me and I'd like you to answer with whatever feels right. Okay. Make sense? Okay. Let's go with birthdays. Linda, what day of the month do you feel like I was born on? 19th. The 19th. The 19th. Wow, okay, okay. Linda, what month of the year do you feel like I was born on? October 19th. Did you Google me? Yes. <laughs> okay, Linda, finally, the year. What year do you feel like I was born in? 19, 1998. 1998. You could have Googled me. Wow, that's incredible, Linda. Okay, Linda. I'd like to build some trust first, but I'm going to guess your birthday. Okay. Okay? But first, the trust bit. Did you bring your phone up with you? I did. Okay, perfect. 
I'm going to hand you my phone first. This is how you build trust. Linda, there is a calculator there. Just hit clear a few times, that AC button. Just hit that a couple times. That way you know I haven't put anything into the calculator. Hold that so that myself and everybody else cannot see the screen. Okay. Linda, we're doing some multiplication. Okay? Okay. That's why we have the calculator. Okay. Start with the day of the month that you were born on, put that into the calculator, and then hit times. So for me, I would put 19. Have you hit times? Yes. Perfect. Now, Linda, the month number, put that into the calculator and then hit times. So for me, October is the 10th month, so I would put 10. Put in your month number, hit times. Yes. Good. Okay. Finally, the full year. Not finally, but put the full year. Then hit times again. So for me, 1998. Did you hit times? No, I have to find the numbers. Here oh, we are. No worries. Let me know when you're good, Linda. Okay. Good? Okay. Finally, this one oh, is oh, actually. Am I supposed to hit times after the year? Yes. Okay. Hit times. Times. Okay. This is the final number, your favorite two digit number. Two digits? Your favorite two digit number. Put that into the calculator and then hit equals and we'll get a final answer. Let me know when that is ready. Okay, I have yes. it. Okay, it's okay if we look at this together. <laughs> you hit times every time, right? Yes. Okay. I'm really glad I got to try this today. <laughs> okay. Is Linda. This your, is this the first time? <laughs> Just correct me if I'm wrong, okay? <laughs> this is 9,940,260. 260. Yes. Perfect, okay. So that's 9, 940260. Yes. Oh, you know what? Perhaps it wasn't the. Yes, I hit the yes? equal Yes, okay, okay. Linda, it actually. Always, it was always that's, times, 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 and then. Yeah, that's seven digits long, Linda. Just like a phone number. Okay. You brought your phone up with you? Yes. Can you make a phone call for me? Sure. You'll take that out? And just let me know when you're ready. I can even grab the microphone from you if, if it's easier. It's okay. 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 What do we do here? Are, are you going to make a phone call? Just open up your phone. Okay. Phone? Yep. And to the number pad dial. so we can dial it in. Okay. It is nine, nine, four, zero, two, six, zero. And we'll double check these. Nine, nine, zero, two. Perfect. You said you're not from New Brunswick. Right. Put 506 at the start. We click up here, now 506. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, give it a call. We'll put it on speakerphone, too. Just let them know I like my pizzas extra large, all meat. You'd be skimpy on the cheese if you'd like. We're going to be here at the Fredericton Exhibition Grounds. Is it dialing? Mm -hmm. Well, not yet. It's not dialing? Oh, it looks like it backed out there. Oh, it is calling. OK, perfect. Excuse me, Linda. <laughs> okay, okay. I have it. Hello? Hello? And there you are. Linda? Linda? I'm in the middle of something right now. All right, I'll catch you later. Okay, great. Call me back later. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Linda, mm -hmm. I did say I wanted to take a stab at your birthday. Yes. Just correct me if I'm wrong, and if you'll use the microphone so everybody can hear you as well. You're doing very well with that, by the way. Great job. Thank you. I think Linda deserves a round of applause so far, too. Okay, Linda. The day of the month that you were born on, was it the 8th? Yes, just like in the phone. 
just like in the film. <laughs> the month. The month of the year yes. that you were born on. Yes. Was it June? Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Is it okay if I say the year? Sure. I can, here, tell you what. We'll do it this way. I'm going to mute this and I'll whisper it into your ear and then you tell everybody if I get it right. Okay? Okay. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Linda, everybody. Thank you so much. I'll grab that. Just watch yourself on the way down there, Linda. Coming up. Thank awesome. You. Actually, oh wait, how much time do we have here? Okay, perfect. Okay. This is something rather personal to me, and I, I'm kind of asking for some help on this one. Um, kind of weird. It's, it's for everybody. See, I'm not from Fredericton, and when I first came here, my brother, he lives here. He gave me a place to stay. Today is actually his 25th birthday, and he's working. So, I'm wondering if we could all sing happy birthday for my brother and I could get a video for it. Would that be okay? Yes? Okay, awesome. His name is Andrew. Okay? Let me get my camera ready here. I really appreciate this, by the way. He helped out. I wouldn't be here right now, likely. I would have had to have driven back and forth and gas is expensive. So, we'll do it this way. Can we get everybody in there? Oh, look at that. That's great. Are we ready? And a one, and a two, and a three, and happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Andrew, happy birthday to you, and go crazy, yay, that's for you Andrew, thank you. And thank you all so much. My name is Sawyer Stanley. If you want to stick around, Magic Rick is up next. He does some like family and kids stuff. It's a lot of fun. And then the Modern Mind Readers at 9 o'clock. It's almost unsettling. Uh, but it is a lot of fun. It's all here at the Pearly Power Magic 10. Thank you so much.